That was great. That was great. Um, Guilherme, can you tell me a little bit about your experience introducing 3DCS at Electrolux? Um, you said before that your colleagues became curious with it and weren't quite sure on the output results. Is this something? Yeah, that... I completely forgot about it. Oh, it's all right. Could you tell me uh, just a little bit about that, about your experience, you know, implementing 3DCS there at Electrolux? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, like right now, do you want to yeah. count to three? <laughs> no, just go ahead. Just talk to me. Okay. 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 Um, so uh, the the thing I could say about uh, using 3DCS is that uh, at first people are kind of uh, I would say uh, uh, resistant about the tool, but they do not understand how. Uh, it works. They only think that it generates beautiful graphics uh, and it's uh, time wasting. Uh, however, uh, when when you go through the details to show uh, how uh, which information you, you can extract uh, from uh, the software uh, and how it could improve the quality of a product, people really got interested uh, on knowing how it worked and started to asking for some simulation analysis. And for now, uh, we are using the 3DCS as a, uh, a routine uh, on on our on our daily basis. Every time we have a new project, uh, we start from uh, the specification to see if it's feasible to the manufacturing and, and the mounting process. Uh, 